Now, this is the plane with the largest jet engines in the world. Of course, the Boeing 777 that has the GE-90 engine. These things are so big and strong, the diameter of the engine is the diameter of the Boeing 737 fuselage. But in comparison, here is the plane with the smallest jet engine. And we do have to do some zooming to even be able to see them. What in the world is that, ladies and gentlemen? Everybody, let me introduce to you the PBS TJ-20 a, the smallest jet engine in the world indeed it cost three thousand dollars and it's made by the czech company of pbs indeed they kind of specialize in aircraft that are unmanned so the idea for this tj 20a the smallest jet engine in the world was more or less for it to be used in rc planes it even says here on the packaging designed for professional rc jet models but it turns out you can actually put it to manned aircraft as well Yes, the Cree Cree Jet. Yes, a few years ago, I talked about one of the smallest airplanes in the world, the Columban Cree Cree. It's absolutely miserable, and I wouldn't want to fly it. Originally, it was designed as a propeller plane, but it turned out that, yes, you might as well be able to fly this plane using the TJ-20 Alpha, and it's entirely possible. Because the smallest plane in the world, the Cree Cree Jet, weighs, uh, that, that, he can lift it up. Genuinely 80 kilograms. That is how much this thing weighs when it's empty. And so it doesn't matter matter that the weakest and smallest jet engines in the world, we have two of them by the way, don't have a lot of power because they don't need to have. I mean, these weigh, by the way, two kilograms. The diameter of the engine is 12 centimeters. It's funny because this jet jet engine model is actually bigger than the than the engine that we're using today. Now take a performance very much depends on how much you've had for breakfast. Um, or whether you have the iPhone 17 or the 17 Air, you know, in your pockets or no phone in your pockets. So look at that, ladies and gentlemen. We were able to take off the uh, the Cree Cree Jet, the smallest ever jet airplane with the smallest ever jet engines. And today I would like to maybe figure out how powerful are these? What can we fly with these? Maybe something bigger than this. How many engines could we need to fly the plane that would usually have the biggest engines, the 777? Good challenge, Swiss is there one. So let's start off. And you know what? I have exactly the right plane to start this off. This is a Sarah's airplane. You know, the planes that are flying in real life a little bit. Anyway, the shocking thing is that this plane weighs like a thousand kilograms empty, which is 10 times more than the Cree Cree plane. That's actually, I wouldn't have, how is this plane so, okay, I kind of get it how it's so light. Okay, but you know what? Let's do this. Let's just remove the old propeller like that wonderful okay next off it's time to put on put on these oh my god they are very tiny we definitely need a few of those but i kind of want to see can we move this plane the cirrus sr22 using this let's take a look all right everybody here it is you know these are very average sized jet engines i think very big huge jet engines and it, it's just so crazy with the Cirrus it's genuinely just small this could be like a GoPro and we can feel that in the power because these two we've got two of these by the way these two engines are incapable of making this thing fly like look we can go full power here and we have the parking brake release but despite that we're only able to just move these engines are just good enough for maybe a little bit of pushing and pulling by the way yes you can actually move this airplane on the ground by hand literally a human is stronger than this and i'm actually not kidding these engines have 45 pounds of thrust that is 20 kilograms i, I could I bench more. So everybody, we definitely need an upgrade. We need uh, maybe a few more engines. All right, this might look more like it. We just made the, an incredibly stupid airplane. We now not only have two, but we have six of these engines, meaning that we might be able to actually finally move a Ceres. Which, I mean, come on, it's not that big of an achievement, but let's see, let's go full power. And yes, we are moving, ladies and gentlemen. This is full power, and it's barely enough to taxi. Actually, this is interesting. The flight simulator here is somehow able to tell that this thing only has the 25% of power that it should usually have, basically. So that means we're running on a quarter of the power that Cirrus needs to properly fly. Although we are able to, oh, we're, right, no, wait, hold on, we're able to, Tick off. It's maybe we've just made a very bad version of the Cirrus. Hold up, hold up. Be patient. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. Yes, we're actually gaining speed on this plane. It just is the longest ever Cirrus SR22 takeoff roll ever. We have made this plane a lot worse. But look, we're able to climb at 200 feet per minute in a jet engine Cirrus SR20. This 
is great news, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it's, it just doesn't climb very much. We've made the worst flying service in the world, where we might want to use this. Yeah. There, there we go. Anyway, since we've successfully taken off the service, it's time to move on. But it's about time we make a bit of a bigger jump. Finally, to a jet aircraft. This is a Cessna Citation X. Huh. Come on, man. Let's remove these engines right here. They are not needed anymore. Okay, so everybody, here it is. We now have eight engines, jet engines, on the Cessna Citation X. And you know, obviously, I have my doubts that these are even going to be able to move this plane at all. Let's just go full power and see if we can get some movement here. This is full power. It's a bit loud, this little tiny thing. Is the parking brake engaged? Uh, no. So it's interesting that these engines that are trying to push in all the power that they have, they're very screeching. They're unable to do anything. We need more. We need more engines, everybody. But that is no problem. We can let's just quickly do that. Okay, everybody. We've got now 16 engines on board the Cessna Citation X. Now we might ignore the fact that we need maybe 100 more in order to actually fly this plane. They create a lot of nice noise, though. Parking brake should be released. And we're able to... Uh, I mean, yeah, these engines can kind of fit in the palm of your hand. Just doesn't work. But if you speed up time a little bit and make, you know, time make its work, we can actually, uh, we can move. Ladies and gentlemen, our top speed right now is a whopping three knots. Three and a half miles per hour. Oh, yeah, we're going faster now. We are actually speeding up. Look at that. And what I'm liking to see is that, I mean, we got time with these engines. Look at uh, the amount of flight time. We can f have this thing fly for 71 hours. <laughs> because we still have the big fuel tank and we wouldn't even have to change our think our fuel grade because we can just use jet a i think let's probably go ahead and tone down to because we've got so much fuel tank in here we need what 70 kilos here let's let me go ahead and make this airplane quite a lot lighter here and maybe we can maybe we can fly come on you've got 16 jet engines you should be able to look eight miles per hour top speed mm, look at that we are at 30 knots so we would be able to taxi a whole Citation X just using the smallest jet engine in the world, well, 16 of them. But you know, everybody, I think it's time to upgrade to airliner territory. This is the ERJ-170. Uh, we probably need like a hundred thousand engines of the, that. Uh, sorry, engines. You have to go now. Now, let me introduce to you the E-170 improved version. We now have what? Uh, 32 engines. <clears throat> They provide 1,400 pounds of thrust um, in total, which uh, turns out not to be a lot. Um, it isn't a lot. Come on, park brake release. Uh, but yes, 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 full giving full power. Yes, look at that. Now, the truth is both engines on the E-170 provide like, what, 28 times the power than our 36 engines, but we're actually able to move somewhat. And I'm kind of... You know what? I'm I'm optimistic about this. How about we put more engines on the on the wheel? We're just gonna stuff this thing with en with with these engines. But hey, look. Let's pretend that we didn't spend a hundred thousand dollars on these engines. By the way, um, let's spend two hundred thousand and make it double, double, double. Ladies and gentlemen, we now have uh, sixty four, sixty four engines. We have a, a whole wing stuffed with tiny engines, and it's the stupidest thing I've ever done. Let's go and see if we can get some power out of those. Oh, we can actually hear them definitely spool up. All right, let's do a static takeoff right now, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go and release the brakes. <clears throat> Look, this isn't the worst. We've got some movement in here. This thing is it's definitely enough to taxi the plane, you know? You know, after a while, we can reach, like, actual taxiable speeds. You know, the truth is, this thing is far, far less powerful than, like, a Cessna 172 engine, which is very interesting. Um, I really want to just fly this plane now. Um, you know, the truth is, you could spend $300,000 on a Lamborghini, or you could spend it on, uh, 92 smallest engines in the world. Let's go ahead and see if it, maybe, maybe we have some luck here now. Full power. Mm-hmm. This is much better. This is much more performance. Release the brakes. And yes, we're actually able to make movement. I really just want to see the ERJ-170 take off. We don't really have much more space on the wings. I mean, even the use of the aileron is a little bit restricted now because of our engine. Uh, these look like tiny grenade, by the way. Come on, give me all you got, engines. Give me all you got. They got 20 knots in them. We need more. And so I added a lot more. Wow, this is a bit of a mess of engines now. We now have 124 engines. 
Let's go. Full power. My computer is starting to struggle with the amount of engines, but we're able to actually move. You know, this is not bad. The funny thing is that despite that, we have a flight time of 18 hours available. So maybe go ahead and we're... You know, remove a little bit of weight. And here it is. The E-170 with 124 engines starting to move. This is breaking my computer. But we're actually able to see some proper airspeed being picked up. So it might be able to just fly a little bit. Let's see. Come on now. 50 knots. Yes. 60 knots. Yes. We're starting to actually show flight capabilities. Okay. 100 knots. Now, uh, maybe we can take off. We may can take off. We maybe can take off. Come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Lock in. Lock in. You know what? I think this thing will be able to fly if we add just... A few more engines. Uh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a lot of engines. 156 to be exact. And this is actually one quarter of the engines we would actually need in real life. Because this thing needs like, what, 650 engines of these to properly bring the power? Um, Let's see. Let's move it, ladies and gentlemen. We should be able to pull it off. Look, when we speed things up, we, uh, we, uh gain a bit of speed here this is perfect yeah 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 100 knots 100 knots and this should let us fly at some point come on come on come on you're good you're good you're good let's take off let's take off come on lift off yes we've lift off put the landing gear up oh my god yes no no oh come on you should be able to pull it off let's not crash into this mountain ah we've We've got. All right. How about nearly 190 of these engines? I wouldn't even want to know how long it would take to even start up all these engines. You know, that is like the problem. But look, this is Toga Takeoff. Uh, maybe we can, maybe we can take off. Okay. Okay. Looking good. We're starting to accelerate quite seriously now. We might just, you know, overdo the 100 not mark and yes we have i think we might be able to fly now finally i mean after all have you ever seen a jet plane with almost 200 engines let's go take off let's go take off yes yes we've achieved airborneness with the smallest engine of the world well, 200 of them but look at this we are flying and this is all i needed to see while well, we flew for a bit uh this is probably the worst idea in the world ever but yeah to make this video a perfect circle it's crazy how different jet engines can be i mean in order to power the 777 with the smallest jet engine in the world we need four and a half thousand of these jet engines it's absolutely insane and i'm not gonna do that because it's gonna literally break my computer and it's not even gonna fit on the airplane either, to be honest. So everybody get as much watching this pretty useless video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters, <laughs> Guns Killer, R27, James Duram, that dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishitsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New the York. You've got beautiful names.